piece of cake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our B natural scale. We are in the sharp, thick of things. So just like with my other videos, I showed you some kind of F to some kind of G. Now we need to back it up a little bit. I need to show you a different kind of E natural that we're gonna play in order to facilitate going from substitute palm note keys into the altissimo and then the double altissimo in order to play this scale. So first thing, we got our B. Once I get to E natural, instead of using a palm or anything else like that, I'm gonna overblow your middle E flat in order to play E natural. Saxophone is actually quite tragic at producing overtones in tune above low B flat. And we're gonna use that to our advantage with all of our altissimo. Whether it's a wrong note or wrong fingering, it does not matter as long as we are playing the note in tune who cares, right? So here we go. Low or middle E flat. We overblow that to play E natural. That's the fingering that I use for E natural. And then from there, I go to our split F in order to play F sharp, which is one, three, and four. In this case, since I already have my pinky pressing the E flat key, from the E natural before, I just leave it down. I think it adds a little bit more fullness and a little bit more stability to that note. So split F, add E flat key in order to play F sharp. For G sharp, I go back to what I showed you before. One, two, three, inside C in order to play G sharp. A sharp, two, three, and the B flat key, or sorry, two, three, and the D key in order to play A sharp. I'm calling it B flat because it's A sharp. Whatever. 2-3 and the palm D in order to play A sharp. And then for B natural, I just hold all of that and all I do is just add to it the palm E flat key. So just make sure that you don't have any of the other fingers pressed down or that note is going to wind up being really sharp. Now, I only use that B natural fingering if I'm coming from the A sharp that's below it. Usually when I get to that note, and then I start, I re-articulate, I switch over to the E flat key with the middle C in order to play B natural. Right, the C key, adding that there gives that note some stability. So E flat key and C in order to play B natural. B natural key in order to play C sharp. C key in order to play D sharp. 5 key in order to play E natural back to E flat key by itself in order to play F sharp 3 key in order to play G sharp and then I do the 2 3 with the G sharp key in order to play A sharp and then I go back to the same fingering that I used before in the lower register to play the B natural but the octave above that is uh, palm E and side C, I'm mean, sorry, palm E and the C key together in order to play the stupid high B natural. So if you notice, in the, as soon as I start the altissimo with the B natural, I can play that just using the E flat key. So I can one finger my way from B natural all the way up to G sharp just using one finger. Just like I showed you a simple way of playing the A flat, using just the front, this you can kind of one finger your way through that. So you can have a It's really easy and it is a lot of fun. So have fun with that ladies and gentlemen. I'll play that for you one more time. Here we go. Thank you. 